expansion like to have liposuction. We're going to be focusing on the upper and lower abdomen, on the flanks as well. Try to shape these areas uh, together. It helps, especially in women, to have a more hourglass shape. You can address uh, the areas that are adjacent to kind of help stitch that in and make it look a little bit better. Uh, I think she has a very good bust to hip ratio and providing a more uh, cinched in uh, hourglass shape uh, is I think going to improve her. So I did my markings with the patient uh, standing up and now I'm just uh, getting my landmarks here uh, with the patient in the position that we're going to do surgery. The position is uh, a little bit extended so you don't have the, uh, the, the pelvis here like flexed like this, you have it a bit down. So it's easier to do the liposuction and less chance of uh, causing an injury to the abdominal or to the chest wall. So here I'm just palpating the anterior superior iliac spine, which is here. And I'm choosing to do this surgery with just two incisions instead of multiple. Sometimes you need to make more incisions. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just that if I can do it with fewer incisions, uh, great. So I'm trying to uh, uh, pick an incision here that's gonna allow me to address, I'll show it to you on this side, to, cut, to address the flanks. Uh, but also the upper and lower abdomen uh, without irritating too much this area and without having to rub too much on, uh, on the bone just to keep it nice and soft. There's also an important nerve there that I'm careful with. So I just want to make sure that I can do the most amount of surgery with the least amount of incisions in a safe way. Now when I'm infiltrating, I'm using this uh, cannula here that has a few holes in it. Just to inject some of the fluid that I use for the liposuction. I'm using a tumescent technique, which means that I'm filling it to enough of a point here to minimize blood loss and to have some turgidity to the tissue so they're a little bit stiffer so you can do liposuction a bit more evenly with the least amount of blood loss. And uh, I'm taking my time here to infiltrate the entire area where I'm going to do surgery and a little bit beyond that just to make the patient more comfortable because the solution also contains uh, some local anesthetic. So the type of liposuction technique that I use quite often is the SAFE technique, which is an acronym for a separation, aspiration of fat and equalization. Right now I'm working on the S part of that. I'm separating the fat with the cannula like this. It's a fairly thin basket cannula that vibrates like this. And I put it through one of the two incisions that I use for the surgery. And I just make some passes here to distribute uh, the tumescent solution that I infiltrated and also to separate the fat. So it's as smooth as possible. I'll show you on this side so you can see what it looks like. So again, not very superficial. I go fairly deep here. This patient is a little bit fibrous, which is totally fine, but that's what you see, why that's what you see the cannula retracting a bit. So I'm just doing a few passes to show you, and then I'll do it throughout the surgical site, and after that, we'll move on to the aspiration. I started doing the liposuction, so I've separated all the fat, and now I started aspirating. I did a good amount of liposuction on this hemi-abdomen. It's not completely done yet, but I just wanted to take a little pause to show you guys the difference. So here on this side, which hasn't had any aspiration yet, I haven't removed anything. It's about this thick. This is kind of what the pinch test looks like. And the same equivalent area here is now this thin. So I don't want to make it too thin. I still think we need a little bit more to go here, but uh, just to show the difference already, it's, uh, it's already this. Um, and uh, there's more surgery to come. I'll do the pinch test again from, uh, from over there. So this is the area that was already liposuction, even though I'm still gonna liposuction more. This is what it was before we started with a bit of infiltration in it. So you can see the difference. You wanna to get to something that's thinner for the uniform like this. And once I empty out the fat from the upper, the lower abdomen and the flanks, maybe we can do like a little bit more to, to make it even more uh, uh, even. Suction of the upper abdomen, the lower abdomen, and the flanks. Feathered everything in with the adjacent areas to make it more even so there's no step. The abdomen is uh, flatter than before. Didn't overdo it. Remember at the beginning the thickness was a little bit bigger. Now we're into something much thinner. I don't want to press too hard here because it equalizes everything nicely. And uh, I think she'll be very happy with it.